everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob and today we're going to be making some stamps. So I had somebody on Discord ask if anybody had done any stamp work uh, and nobody had so I figured what the heck let's give it a try because I haven't done it yet. So I went on Amazon, I got me a three pack of rubber sheets. Now what I've done is I've already gone through using the 10 watt and I did a speed power test and right up here at about 90% power and 20 millimeters a second. That's the setting that I'm gonna use. That's what looks best on my 10 watt. Obviously different powered lasers, you're gonna get different results. But on my 10 watt, that's what I came up with. So that's what we're gonna go with. So with that being said, let's hop in the light burn, do our design, and see if we can do a stamp. Let's get to work. All right, so here is the design that I'm going to do this stamp with. Now, I've already done it. I mean, this was really simple. So I, let me go in here, and we'll start from the beginning. We're going to ungroup all of this, and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete that. So here's here's what I'm doing right here. So I got a, some four by four post and I'm just going to do a stamp. I'm just going to cut out a chunk of that and put my stamp on the bottom of that, sand it all and all that. So I want it to be a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to take my design right here and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a square and I'm going to go, I want that to be about 80 by 80. So we're going 80 millimeters, what, not 800 by 80 millimeters, okay? And that's, we're gonna make that black. Now what we're gonna do is, whoops, I don't wanna make that. We're gonna align these. There's a vertical center, there's a horizontal center. Now I'm gonna come through, select both of those, and I am going to group those, all right? Now that is on fill. So, and I want that fill, we were talking earlier about 90 and 20. So my speed is 20 millimeters a second and my power was one, no, 90. All right, so there is our stamp. So if we go to preview, we can hit play and we can see that it is burning all that. And then once it gets up to the letters, it is skipping the letters. So that, that part where it's skipping this dark red, that's gonna be our raised portion for our stamp. That's perfect. So let's hit okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make one more square and we're gonna make that a different layer. That's gonna be blue. And we want that 80 by 80. Now we're going to select all that, align one more time. There it is. And then that is a line. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to run that at a hundred percent power, five millimeters a second. And we're going to do uh, two passes because a hundred at five, when I did my speed power test, it almost went through. So let's go ahead and make that five millimeters a second. We're gonna do 100% power. We are gonna be using air assist on this and two passes and okay. All right, now we can take that, group that whole thing and let's move it over here. All right, now that's everything. That's our design. So let's go ahead, hop over to the laser and get this thing burnt and see how it looks.
Here is the first stamp that I did, um, and it left a bunch of extra rubber as it was as it was etching all along here. So all these lines right here should not be there; should just be the helmet. Uh, I figured out what that problem was eventually, and the second one I did, I turned it so it was etching this way, but it did the same thing. It left a lot of rubber around all the letters and in between. Um, I did do another one with offset fill, which came out good. It burned away all the rubber that I needed it to, not quite deep enough, but I wouldn't sell this because I don't like the way it looks. I don't want somebody to look at that and, and, and you know, I mean, looks are very important to, to customers. So I wouldn't sell that. So I went ahead and I did a fourth one and I, my speed and power, I, I had 90% power and I was running about seven and a half millimeters a second. Um, and that did really well. It burnt a lot of the rubber out of the way. The letters are raised. You can see right along here, definitely raised up. So much better and, and, and the rubber, excess rubber that's left is, is not as thick as some of this other stuff. One of the problems I was having was with my ink pad. Um, it, I thought it was my stamp, but it was ink pad. I went to Office Depot, picked up another ink pad um, and had the exact same issue. But while I was there, I went ahead and I picked up some ink refill. Um, and then I put some, some of the ink in here and in the other pad that I got from Office Depot. That was the whole problem. The ink pads were a little dry. So anyway, so this is the last one I did. Here's our ink pad. And we have a nice clean stamp. So very, very clean, very crisp. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I, if I had my druthers, I would do it with a 20 watt instead of the 10, but there you go. All right, so final thoughts, 90% power, seven and a half millimeters a second on the burn. Um, that got me what I wanted real slow on the 10 watt, three and a half hours. That, that's an excessive amount of time. Um, one of the drawbacks to doing stamps is you are going to have dust all over the place. I have a big exhaust fan in here um, and it does great with the fumes, but that gray dust is all over the place. It's all over my module. It's all over my work bed. It's all over my laptop over here and I'm burning over here. I mean, it's everywhere. So beware when you guys are doing this, it is very messy. Now, the, what I did to get rid of those lines in here, if you guys remember, I had to turn off fast white space scan. When I was doing fast white space scan, that's what was causing all these extra lines right here that, that should not be here. Okay, this line, this is part of the helmet, but this line, this line, this line, this line, those shouldn't be there. And it was all because of fast white space scan. I turned that off and I got exactly what I wanted. Um, and I got the depth that I wanted with the speed and power on the 10 watt that I used. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.